Hi, welcome to Daddy Jack's Go For The Blues. I'm gonna do a seafood risotto cake. I'm gonna do a saffron, perno, a little perno saffron sauce underneath. So what I do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put the shrimp and scallops in there, but I've diced them up. But I, uh, I just need to give them a light cook. So there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of white wine, and uh, put the shrimp and scallops in. Okay. I'm gonna put just a little bit of butter to get a little richness. A little bit of salt and pepper. Okay, while that's going, I'm gonna take uh, I'm not gonna use all this egg, but I got have one egg. Okay, I'm gonna do a small spoon, but three, uh, three teaspoons. Do uh, two spoons of ricotta. Some green onion. Salt and pepper. That parmesan's kind of. Might have the whole egg. Just to bind it up. A little bit of sun dried tomato. Okay, I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit of breadcrumb. A little bit of bread crumble. It'll we'll soak up the excess liquid we have. It'll we'll form it into a cake. And I'm gonna give it one more, two more spoons of ricotta. Thailand, the customer brought me this pepper. I swear to God, just a couple, I'm telling you, I mean, a pinch is all you need. Crazy. Crazy how strong it is. See, that's nice. Now we can, we'll be able to form that into a cake. Pieces of little thing, we'll break them up a little bit. Yeah, I don't want any, any excess liquid in there. So I'm gonna let that cool down. Just I don't, I don't want to mix the hot seafood in with the uh, cheese with the ricotta. So we're just gonna let that cool down for a little bit. We'll be right back. All right, so I'm gonna put a little bit of crab meat in. Just a little bit of uh, back, uh, fin, back fin, got a little bit of leg in there. Everything's cooled down nicely. Okay, so get my skillet nice and hot, a little bit of butter, olive oil, and then I'm going to make my cakes. It's like a crab cake. Okay. 
right? Lay that right there for now. I suppose you're gonna want one of these bobs, so I better make a couple of them, right? Oh yeah. I'm in. <laughs> Back it nice and tight. They're holding together real nice. Okay. Right. You may think I should do two or three of these, Bob. Uh, I think you should do three. Really? Yeah, I'll do one more. Okay. Anything else? Not for you? No seafood? No? No mariscos? Lo siento. Pobrecito. I'm going to save these for the customer. We're doing two, Bob. I'm going to sell the rest. Sorry. I'm going to wash my hands. Excuse me. Okay? Come on in, Bob. Take a look. Okay? Nice. I'll push them down just a little bit, flatten them. Okay, I'm right, right in the oven. Right in the oven for about 10 minutes. Okay, so Bob and I have been brainstorming what we're gonna do for the sauce for those risotto cakes. So uh, so we're doing saffron pernol. But here, here's, here's some saffron. This is the real deal. I mean, back in the day, we used to fight over this stuff. All those are picked by hand. The flowers. I forgot what what uh what flower they come from. But uh, this is a. Uh, it used to be like two hundred dollars for a one ounce. They're pretty reasonable right now. But yeah, it's amazing the color that these threads give. Look at that. I'm gonna put some perno. That's got a licorice flavor. Look at that color. Put just a little bit of. If I had some shallots, it'd be nice. I put a little bit of garlic. A little bit of salt and pepper. I'll put a little bit of cream. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful, that color? There's royalty, they, they you know, the, the royalties of yeah, Persia. Of uh, Iran used to use this, you know, just that uh, it exudes kind of richness, you know, wealth. Saffron rice, you know, the uh, Middle East. Kind of make it like a bare blanc, you know, put a little bit of butter. Basically, it's a bare blanc. It's a really nice, delicate flavor. Let that butter melt real good. Always got to bring it. When you add the butter, you got to make sure it comes up. At least to a simmer, all the butter's melted, otherwise uh, the bare blanc will break. Never be afraid to boil it, or like, you know, light simmering. Now, Bob, the big question, do we put some green onions in there or not? You're the green onion king, I said, I don't huh? know. Then we'll do that before we serve. Okay, so I'm going to keep this warm up, just up under the under the light heat. 
put right in the plate. We'll be right back. All right, let's see what we have here now. Oh, yeah. I think I forgot. I think I'm going to blast it up on the salamander just for, for a good minute. There's our sauce. Okay. Ready to taste it out, Rach? Yeah. All right. Okay. This is saffron sauce. Saffron Pernod sauce. Look at that. Beautiful color. Look at that. Look at that. That's good on chicken, fish, scallops. It's like liquid gold. Uh, seafood risotto, okay. Oh boy, scallop, scallop, shrimp, and uh, crab. Check it out. You already brought enough for it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Okay. We'll put this one up under the heat for Bob. Bob gets to have one? Oh, yeah. You gotta hook the camera, the man up right here. Bob, I was thinking of what we're going to do today. Mm -hmm. Again, like I wake up like 3 o'clock in the morning. I see, your, I see risotto cakes, but not a seafood risotto cake. That's delicious. It's got ricotta cheese in it. What's that little pick in it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Nice. Oh, Bob, you're going to like these. Mm -hmm. Bob. No, he's not going to like it. No? Don't, Don't give Bob his. Mm. Yeah. Look at that. Really good. Want to try it, Tommy? <laughs> <laughs> Tommy and I. Right. He's a veteran. He's a veteran taste tester, Tommy. Mm. All right, delicious. See, we were thinking. We were thinking about what sauce to put on it. I love the Pernod. I was thinking like tomato sauce wouldn't go with it, blah, blah, blah. and then what else did we talk about? A little Dijon sauce maybe, Bob? Yeah. yeah. And then that, that saffron is such a perfect complimentary to, uh, here's what I was trying to say, it was, it was so complimentary to seafood. Done it again. If you know how I hate to, you know how I hate to toot my own horn, but that's pretty magnificent. Steve, you want to try it? I want to get I want to get Steve's impression. Come on, Javier didn't want to try it. What? No, no, I'm good. Do it. Try it out. Your own Stop weapon. Brought your own weapon. Zoom in on his face. Let's see. Zoom in. <laughs> no, I don't like it anymore. <laughs> oh man. Get a little bit Go ahead kill it. No, no, I'm like it. It's not the spice in the food that makes me sweat. That's huh? right. It's the camera shyness. <laughs> you know when something's good? You don't want to drink a glass of wine, I want a sip of water, savor the flavor. My baby girl here. Rachel's turned into quite a chef, good cook. Cooks, cooks for Justin, her fiance, every night. And, and packs his lunch when he, when he behaves himself. Uh, yeah, well, uh, yeah, a few days a week, <laughs> at least. <laughs> all right. Love y'all. Peace out, Bob. You're something to heat, man. You're going to love it. Daddy Jack's cool with the blues here. Beautiful downtown New London, 181 Bank Street. Beautiful New London, Connecticut. Just had a little snowstorm. But having a beautiful winter so far. Peace. <laughs>